What's happening, beautiful people of Azeroth? It's Gordon, also known as The Chef here, and today we are bringing you a guide on probably the best weapon in the game for any type of Feral Druid. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Mineral Crowd Pummeler is by far the best weapon in the game for Feral Druids, and there's a couple reasons for it, but mainly you might be asking why are you wanting a level 29 weapon? Well, Feral Druids do not care at all about things like attack speed on the weapon, damage, or DPS. All they care about is strictly stats. We are a stat stick weapon user, and MCP has some amazing stats on it for Druids. 16 Strength as well as 5 Agility utilize both of those stats phenomenally and here's where the kicker is though each mcp that you farm is basically a consumable because it has three chargers on the active on the item use increases your attack speed by 50 percent for 30 seconds this is amazing for feral druids especially because there's no global cooldown so you can effectively have a minute and a half of uptime of having 50 percent increased attack speed and the reason why this is so clutch is because this allows us to activate our clear casting state a whole bunch more with omen of clarity Druids pick up Omen of Clarity, 11 points into the Balance Tree, which you can also go ahead and see the entire Talent Tree breakdown for my spec in a different video here that we will hyperlink on the screen. But basically, it is our clear casting state, which we get put into off of melee attacks. So having that 50% increased attack speed on the Manual Crowd Pummeler active allows us to basically just attack a whole bunch, which then gives us clear casting, which then allows us to cast any spell for free in the game, which allows us to increase our DPS and pretty much top the charts if you get decent procs for most fights here. So upon equipping Manual Crowd Pummeler, there is actually a 30 second glow global cooldown before you can utilize the active, but once that is up, you can actually proc all three back to back with no cooldowns in between whatsoever. So like we had mentioned earlier on in the video with manual crowd pummeler being super super good just because it procs the omen of clarity, it will also help you proc things like hand of justice just because you're attacking more often which then gives you a chance to proc hand of justice which is another white auto attack which will then potentially give you another omen of clarity clear cast so there's just a ton of combo procs that you can do but we'll go ahead and just show you you can see here our attack speed is you know the usual bear every probably second or so you're getting a hit we'll go ahead and activate the mineral crowd pummeler and you could just see how quickly we are utilizing our attacks here and you can actually even go into human form and you can go back to cat form and you do not lose the buff here. You can see Hand of Justice actually just procced there as well. So to start the quest chain here, we're going to want to speak to Nog in the Valley of Honor in Orgmar and accept the quest Rig Wars. You don't have to do anything with this quest, you just have to make sure at least level 25 and start the quest. As soon as you start the quest, it's going to allow you to actually pick up the quest from Sovik, who is right next to Nog in the same exact building, and you're going to want to pick up Chief Engineer Scooty. This quest is going to send you to Booty Bay, and you will go ahead and travel there with the flight path to Ratchet and then take the boat over to Booty Bay. Obviously, you have other methods. You could take the Zeppelin outside of Orgamar and go to the Ground Gold Base Camp and then fly down to Booty Bay. However, you just got to get to Booty Bay whatever way you choose. Upon arrival to Booty Bay, go ahead and complete the quest by talking to Scooty, who is located on the dock just outside of the inn. And after turning in Chief Engineer Scooty, pick up the next quest in the chain line called Nomaragon. And you'll have to wait just a couple seconds until he calibrates his machine, and eventually you will be able to talk to him again, turning in the quest, and he will then give you the Goblin Transponder, which will allow you to teleport back and forth from Booty Bay to Nomaragon. So basically, whenever you farm these, you just want to make sure you always have your Goblin Transponder as well as the Workshop Key to get in there as fast as possible and get those manual crowd pummelers on farm. If you do not have that key, we're going to go ahead and show you the proper routing to go ahead and get that workshop key, which lets you go in the back door and head straight to the boss that you need to kill.
And done. All right, everybody, we have our transponder as well as the workshop key. In Booty Bay, we are taking the teleporter over to Nomergon. And we're gonna go ahead and get some 112 runs in. The fastest way to get to the Crowd Palmer boss and farm your MCPs as a druid. Gonna go ahead and go in the back door to Nomergon and then we will uh, show you the route here. All right, take three, put up a timer, let's do it. We are not gonna get trolled by the last gnome. And we have sprint up, so this could be the fastest time we've ever recorded. Obviously, again, it could be a little faster if we had a trinket that would increase our speed as well, but we haven't been maxed it that much. But let's see if we can get the line right here. Move left, move left, right now. Oh my god, the streamer bennies, we're popping sprint right now. Okay. Make sure to not run over this mob, though, because he will aggro you. We're going to take the left line, dude. New line. You already know. Oh, man. It's the improved line. Oh, damn. Is this the one? This is the one. We're not going to get trolled. It's huge. That's what she said. Okay, nobody freak out. Okay, gnomes. Don't troll me now, baby. Do not troll me now. Give me the line. Show me the hole. Oh my god. It's the one. It doesn't even matter if we aggro this. Because we're just going to kill the boss and then Feral charge out. Okay. Now we have to kite this back. Kite this back. Be a druid. Be a druid. Power shift. Be a druid. Power shift again. Okay, going a little oom, but we can make it work. That was our last power shift. Dude, give me the drop. Huge crit, huge crit. Give it to me, give it to me. It dropped. Let's go bear form. Break the snare. Okay, bear form. Next tick of mana. Feral charge. We're out of here, dude. This is the run. We've done it. Now we're just going to feral charge our way all the way back. And reminder to utilize your demo roar so you don't get destroyed. This could be the fastest MCP run ever. Dude, if we get rooted again, though, that'd be a big yikes. So we're going to have to stun this guy. Watch this. Watch this. 180. Ooh, no time lost on the 180 bash. Okay, we have one more feral charge available to us. We'll go ahead and save it for the last group. Unless the pad is up, the pad is up. Let's go ahead and feral charge. Close a little distance. Dude, the speed was nutty. Get ready on time as soon as we hit the portal. How quick was that? That had to have been like a 227. I don't even know, I'm just guessing. Three, two, one, time. That was the best run we've ever had. RNG was on our side. Let's get back in there. Now, I hope you don't get as addicted to farming these as I am because I have a lot of downtime at one of my jobs in real life and I basically sit there the entire time and farm manual crowd pummelers and I get asked all the time why my inventory is so scuffed. Well, here's the reason. You can see this one bag has 12 in them and then let's go ahead and take a look at our bank. The entire bank is full of manual crowd pummelers. We have this bag, we have that bag, we have this bag, it's creeping into, oh, not into that bag. There we go. So yeah, you know, as a druid, rest in peace to any inventory that we might have. We have a feral DPS set, a feral tank set, we have an off healing set, and then we have all the manual, manual crab bummers. I can't even talk because I'm going crazy because I'm addicted to farming these. Hopefully you don't end up like me. It was a lot of fun making this guide. Hopefully we'll have a ton more guides actually coming in the future. And as always, guys, let me know if you want to see any other type of content, whether it be specific to Druid or just anything in the game, PvP, whatnot. I've got a lot of things planned. Going to have, hopefully, a keybind and macro video coming out shortly for you. And as always, if you like the video, go ahead and throw it a like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, and all the other good stuff in the info box down below. And as always, I hope to see you next time.